1.2 calculate the trading stock deficit there is 18 units missing and we want to calculate the value of the 18 units that are missing and we are told that this business is using the weighted average method so it means we need to calculate the weighted average price the weighted average price which will be our total cost divided by the number of units our total cost is 8 million 100,000 so 8 million 100,000 divided by 2,000 8 million 100,000 divided by 2,000 that's 4,050 the weighted average price is 4,050 so weighted average price is 4,050 so 18 units multiply by 4050 18 units multiply by 4050 because each unit is valued at 4050 and there is 18 units missing 4050 multiplied by 18 units that is 72900 72900 so the trading stock deficit is 72900 Calculate the trading stock deficit. We have 18 units that are missing. If you compare to what we're expecting, 280 units, but the physical count revealed 262, which then tells us that 18 units are missing. And the value of each unit, according to the weighted average price, is 4,050. And 18 multiplied by 4,050 will give you 72,900. And remember, this is an expense which is going to be needed here. So we then transfer it here. Trading stock deficit under operating expenses. Trading stock deficit. We have trading stock deficit and the amount is 72,900. Our trading stock deficit is 72,900. 18 multiplied by 450. 4,050.